Hi, it is Isora back again. I am the Herd Witch. I am the Punk Sage. Basically, one of the wisest people, a face full of metal that you could possibly get. I talk myself up sometimes. And today I am going to take you through a couple of our new products, which will be going up on our website very soon. Uh, including a couple of new spells and bits and pieces, which will be very exciting. And also an exclusive look at the things I've been creating lately. As you can see, my gorgeous PVC star is still like dangling away in the background. These guys last a really long time, so they're also on the website. It's pretty amazing. So first up, I have Ye Old School Banishing Spell. So this comes as a full kit. It's got your little instructions, comes with your candle for it, uh, black tourmaline stones to make sure that you're safe and protected and got the banishing feel going and even the adorable little slip of paper that you need for it. So that is coming all together as a complete spell. You'll be able to see that on our Facebook group either tomorrow, which is Three Marigna Magical Supplies, magical with a K, CK. We're going old school here. And it will also be up on our website very soon as well. I am also literally in the process of writing a new spell as well that will be able to complement the banishing spell so this will be a money spell i have these really amazing money carries so they're something really special and they are actually used quite a lot in money spells and they were actually previously even used as a form of currency so back when shells were really a good form of currency they don't just joke about that in the movies it really does happen and that also includes Job's Tears, which is actually a herb that we haven't really so, sort of covered much before in, like online in the groups and things. Next up, we have a range of jewellery coming up. Um, this is all the stuff that is made by me and I adore it, of course. Um, starting out with a really gorgeous, delicate chow white necklace. I have people that are literally begging me to make more delicate jewellery, so I thought I should really get onto that. Um, Charite's a really gorgeous mottled purple stone that comes from next to the Cherry River in Russia. So it's one of those ones that's fairly hard to come by. Comes on a 925 silver necklace and so that will be going live soon. The next one we have is an Atlantisite one. So this is Atlantisite. It's also one of the similar ones. It comes on a 925 silver necklace. It is Atlantisite is actually made up of stitch tight and serpentine. So the green in the background is the serpentine. It often has quite a waxy feel to it. And then the purple spots are the stitch tight and they are really mind-blowingly stunning. I love the stitch tight and serpentine. Mostly because I love purple and green, let's face it. <laughs> Next is actually going to be part of our new line. So this is going to be our idyllic line where we delve a lot more into those sort of really awesome galactic different colours. Think literally that star up above. So this is one of our first ones that is coming through. It's going to involve obviously a lot of aura quartzes. This is actually called Dark Opalite. So what it is is actually an opalite cabochon that has, sorry, an opalite palm stone, little stony dude, that has been treated with the same aura treatment. And so it has this kind of funky look to it. So that's one of our part of our new line. I will show you some more after I've actually made a couple of more of that one. I think there's going to be a lot of holographic, really funky, crazy out there stuff. So some pretty cool alien things. Next up, I'm going to take you through a couple of the larger things that we're going to be releasing this week. This is going to be really exciting for me um, because this is the stuff that I have been working on for months. So I am finally ready to reveal the goddess Athame. So obviously this is so huge it can barely even fit in the camera. Yep, there. You can see how big it is. Um, this is hand carved selenite. So one huge long selenite crystal carved into a dagger. And then it features our trusty goddess picture. Sorry, picture. Trusty goddess that is carved into it with, well not carved into it, molded into it with a really gorgeous headdress. So the handle of course is black, being a black handled athame. We have an appetite stone in the background, really gorgeous blue, as well as a chrysocolla stone in the um, pommel of the blade. 
So that one is going to be listed very, very soon. I tend to go through the Athames fairly quickly. They tend to sell rather fast. So if you're interested, I would consider getting in touch with me pretty fast because they do go. So that one took a long time to make as does all of this handmade quirky dirky stuff. Next is, you may have actually seen this around because I've been wearing this, I wore this out to an event to really showcase it off and a lot of people had a lot of interest in this. So this is another of my new headdresses. It features obviously like coppered antlers, a real little sort of tiara of crystal uh, clear quartz points. This is the Chinese needle quartz as well as a really gorgeous labradorite capuchon right there. It attaches via two alligator clips and I tell you now I was dancing at this event and it did not fall off. So it's actually really quite good for wearing. Um, it's even hollow so the weight is kept down as well. So this guy is all handmade by me and yeah you'll be able to buy it on the website pretty soon. It will probably also go up in our Facebook group. I just have to take its glamour shots first. It's pretty hard to take photos of these things sometimes. Lastly is a brand new wand. So this was part of a new sort of design that I started working through. Um, sort of just like a nice flourished point with a really gorgeous clear quartz point on it. It does have transmission faces and it also has keyholes in the point. Don't know if I can show you them, but you can kind of see them moving back and forward. Other end is a really gorgeous clear quartz sphere. It has a whole lot of rainbows in there that I'm not sure that the camera will be able to pick up. But when we do it, it's glamour shots, it will. As well as this gorgeous sort of leaf patterning and a labradorite cabochon once again, because you can never have enough sparkly, sparkly labradorite. So this is a real sort of step forward in my wand making process. This is something very different that I've been working on. And yeah, so it's obviously a silver toned, which I don't normally do as well. I have been working more in copper, but I'm branching out. Lastly, I'm wearing this one. So this is my pride and joy. I adore this guy. This is one of my fairy crowns and it is literally in some of the most stunning labradorite I have seen for a while. So obviously labradorite makes up these main points. There is then clear, the Chinese needle quartz points for the rest of it. And lots of delicate spiraling, wire work, there's lava beads. To basically create this really sort of ethereal looking labradorite crown. And you can see the colours that just play over it. So this one will be up for sale. You can see how it looks, see how it sits. It comes on a metal headband. So it sits quite safely, it's quite accessible, it'll be perfect if I do say so myself. So that's all I'm covering for you today and thank you for listening. It was really, really awesome to have a chat to you all again. Um, check out the website, which is 3marigna.com. Check out the Facebook group, which is 3 Marigna Magical Supplies, as I said, M-A-G-I-C-K-A-L because that is where a lot of our sales goes on and I've just redone it so it's all in line with our Facebook page it's really really perfect thank you so much for listening today I'll talk to you all later bye